Okay, y'all, let's get right into it. Tonight at midnight, Eastern Standard Time, Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 will be premiering. And I wanted to give you guys a full on prediction. You know, I've been doing my what if series, okay? And this is going to be my what if series, but in a little bit of a different way, okay? I am going to be going through our characters for Season 4. I'm going to let you know about their relationship status, honey. I'm going to let you know if I believe they are going to make it to the end of the season and give you any other theories or predictions, honey, that, that come, that come to me or that I've been thinking about. Okay. Let's get right into it. Tariq, he's going to live. Tariq, we are going to see him evolve and mature in this episode. And ultimately he's going to turn into James St. Patrick. He's going to be about his business. He is going to win this war. Okay. I'm fully convinced of it. That's what I believe in my heart. As far as his relationships go, if in fact he does turn out to be Dirty Diana's baby daddy, I think he might end up getting custody of the baby because I don't think Diana is long for this earth. Yes, you heard it here first. I think Dirty Diana is on her way out. Um, now, will this be friendly fire from Monet, as I said in my first what if video, or will it be from someone else? Either one, after she has the baby, I think we can do without Dirty Diana. That's my wish. But in real life, y'all, Dirty Diana will be around. OK, uh, Effie will make her play for Tariq and he will act like he's going to give her a little play. But ultimately, Effie's got to go. Effie's out of here x'd out okay next we have monet monet is going to recover from being fired on by tasha okay but she will have a a near-death experience so i think that she's going to come back with a small redemptive arc like being a brand new monet right i love my kids i love my family i just want to be here but also I need to get to the bottom of who did this to me. Okay. So again, this redemptive arc is going to be very, very small for her. It is not going to be a long time that we will see her being sweet and frilly and nice and kind to the kids because once she finds out all hell's going to break loose, if she does not unalive them, which I am inclined to believe that she is going to unalive at least one of her children, she is definitely going to punish them. In one way or the other, we will see what that looks like. But Monet is going to be as vengeful as ever. Will Monet make it to the end of the series? I'm going to say yes, because people with that type of temperament tend to live. Okay, they tend to live. They tend to live. Honey, let's get to my bookie boo McLean. Okay. Davis is going to unravel. We are going to see Davis's life kind of crumble before his eyes. We know that he's lost his brother. We know he's been in a precarious situation as it relates to how he's trying cases and, you know, being the law itself. Um, and so I think he's going to unravel for a season. I think it's going to feel like he's losing everything. He'll start drinking, doing all the things that we suspect, but he is going to rebound like never before. And I'm going to say that Davis is actually going to be one of the biggest primetime criminals that we have yet to see. I think definitely a partnership with Tariq. They're going to start moving big weight. He's got the contacts. And he's got the ability to stay off of the radar. So we will see what that happens. As far as him making it through to the end of the season, he better. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah. Davis better make it. <laughs> he better. Okay. Or count your days. Next, we have Brayden Weston, honey. Now, Brayden uh, is my guy. I love Brayden. I just wonder if he is finally... Has he finally had enough of Tariq and Tariq's behavior? I think that even if they, and I'm not going to say this because I feel like Brayden is a writer and I don't want to see them ever split apart. But if they do have a situation, right, a falling out, I think they will quickly rebound because I think Tariq is going to prove himself to Brayden this season in some way or another. I think Tariq is going to ride for him when riding is necessary. Um, but I do want to see Brayden take more of a stand and become more independent. 
Um, and so we'll see what that looks like. But I think they are in their like swimwear. They have to stick together at least until they get, you know, out of Noma's crosshairs. Kane Tejada. T- Kane could go. I want Kane gone. Okay, because I'm sick of him. But we've already seen from the previews, honey, because they've told us all these previews. They've shown us every single preview you can imagine. I think that Kane is definitely going to have a dalliance with Noma, but Noma is just going to be using him. And before in the live, I referenced um, from the shy, right? How Shad and Alicia are. That's going to be the dynamic. Noma is going to use Kane as a pawn. And I think it might end up in his demise. I don't think his hatred for Tariq has gone anywhere. He's still going to be on a rampage. Okay. Next we have Drew, honey. Drew can go. I think Drew will be gone by the third episode. And I don't have nothing else to say to him. Dirty Diana, again, I'm hoping by the end of the season she's gone. But just like Monet, she'll be around. She'll be around. Effie Morales, again, I feel like she's got to go. But she's going to stick around. She is really going to test the boundaries of of her skills, I think. Um, Again, baby, three strikes, you're out. Really, two strikes, you're out. She's tried it twice before with Tariq. He's accepted her back both times. He's not going to accept her a third time. If he decides to give her some play, she does something to endear him herself to him, saves him in some kind of way, puts herself at risk for him. He's going to act like he likes her for a season, but it would definitely result in disaster for her, whether that's her going to prison, whether that's her being unalived, something tragic is in store for Effie by the end of the series. Rashad Tate, he's going to jail this season. Mark my words. He's too shady. He thinks he's invincible above the law. I do not think he'll be unalived. But honey, I think he's going to the big house. That's what I think. Noma. Noma's got to go. And I think Obi is going to be the one to do it. I think he's going to be the one to do it if he survives her. Okay. Uh, As far as Detective Don Carter, he'll be exit stage left by the end of the season. Yep, he'll be gone. But you guys, those are my takes on the main characters that we are going to see in season four. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? What relationships are going to work? Is anyone going to the big house? Is anyone going to be unalived from our main cast? You tell me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.